rare, very special moments that occur in Nebraska high school sports that the Nebraska High School Sports Hall of Fame wants to make sure are remembered and recognized as great moments in Nebraska high school sports. This year's great moment takes us back to 1964 and a Lincoln Northeast rocket named Jerry Motes. Despite a bus ride to South Sioux City in a blizzard, Jerry set a state record for points in a Class A basketball game, which still stands. His 57 points against the Cardinals included a remarkable 23 straight field goals after starting 0 for 4. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jimmy Mose, accepting for his father, the recipient of the 2019 Great Moments in Sports Award, Jerry Mose. First off, uh, on behalf of the Boats family, we'd like to thank the Nebraska High School Hall of Fame uh, for honoring this moment as one of the great moments in boys basketball ever. Um, you know, it's, it's too bad he couldn't be here today. We lost Dad a year ago in August from a battle of cancer, but I know his spirit's here today and he would be honored and humbled uh, to accept this award. I'd also like to uh, recognize our family that's here today, my mother, Marcia, who had to hear this story numerous times <laughs> for 40 some years. My brother Jeff and his family, my wife Mackenzie, uh, close family friends Steve and Nancy Gage, and Jan and Terry Monk. Terry uh, was one of my dad's teammates. He actually played the game to stand up. Uh, Terry's right here. He's one of the guys that played the game. He actually helped me out with some of the research with this, and I uh, just want to give him some special recognition. cliche to say that records may be broken, but one has withstood the test of time for the last 55 years in Class A basketball. Mm. However, though, if it weren't for a decision made north of Fremont to keep on going, this moment would have never happened. When the game started, Dad was cold like the weather outside. He missed his first four shots. However, though, that next attempt, his fifth that he made, he didn't miss the rest of the night. By halftime, he accounted for 30 of Northeast's 42 points but the Rockets trailed 47-42. At the end of the third quarter, the score was tied at 64-64. Coach Ed Johnson's teams were about defense and toughness. <coughs> On this rare night and occasion, the message before the fourth quarter in the timeout huddle was, get the ball to Jerry. <laughs> After fighting through double and triple teams, Dad's effort in the fourth quarter offensively sparked the Rockets to a 90-75 win. Dad finished the game 23-27 in the field, and 11 to 16 at the line. He had 23 consecutive made baskets. If, it were, if he had the three point line back then, odds are he probably had 75. <laughs> it wasn't celebrated as an individual achievement at the time, though, from Coach Johnson. All Coach Johnson told Dad after the game was, You played a pretty good game. <laughs> Coach Johnson was not about individual praise, but he's more about team and working together. Terry asked my dad what Coach Johnson said to him because they sat together on the bus. And when Terry heard the reply, he said, well, at least he didn't chew you up for missing five one-on-ones, or you could have had 67. <laughs> dad made the comment, he didn't have to remind me. His hot shooting continued six days later against Lincoln High, when he scored 20 points in the first half and connected on all nine field goal attempts. He had made 32 consecutive made baskets in six quarters of basketball. That's hard to do by yourself. Years after it happened, when I'm getting brought up in conversation, the only thing my dad would say is, we were losing, and my teammates, or my teammates kept feeding me the ball, and I kept shooting. It was about winning the game. However, though at home, years later, with dinner conversations at the table, he held the ultimate trump card when we talked about individual performances. <laughs> Ironically, he broke the Class A record in the same gym as Jim Kiefer of South Sioux City did five years before in 1959. And he broke the school record set by Jan Wall in 1958, who eventually became his brother-in-law. Dad's response many times when he talked about the night was we were losing. If we were winning big, I wouldn't have been on the floor. That wasn't Coach Johnson's style. Three years ago, we were playing a game in Northeast, and one of the Columbus kids came up to myself and my dad before the game as we were out in the hallway in the concourse, and he had looked at the record board on the wall. 
He came up to me and said, Coach, you scored 57 in a game? I looked over at Dad, and all Dad did was smile and say, me. <laughs> I was speechless. <laughs> Since then, January 11, 9th, 1964, only six players in Class A basketball have eclipsed the 50-point mark and only two since the inception of the three-point line in 1987. To have this night honored as one of the great moments in high school boys basketball is truly special and a great honor for my father. Even though he is not with us today, I know he would be appreciative of this distinction joining a group of all-time moments in the history of Nebraska high school sports. On behalf of the Moe's family, I want to thank the Hall of Fame committee. I also want to congratulate all the inductees and teams uh, being enshrined today. And once again, thank you for honoring this as one of the great moments in high school sports. Thank you. The dominant dynasty.